I've come because Keith Budge asked me, uh, and he's a person I really like and respect, and I gave a talk at Beedales with Harry Enfield, who has kids there. And so he asked me to come and uh, address the conference, and so here I am. What exactly I'm doing, uh, what I'm addressing them about, I'm not really sure, but it's an inchoate idea that QI has a way of looking at information and processing it, which is entertaining and funny and memorable. Uh, and I think it could in some way contribute to the way we teach people, because it certainly taught me a lot. So the idea is that we're going to kind of create a, what we call a QI boot camp and involve a number of schools We're getting some uh, all volunteers, you know, students who will pool their talents and get uh, mentored and taught how QI research works, how to do it, uh, and create probably a database of their own that they'll own in common, as we have one in our office, and then see if we can in some way roll this out to the state sector, to kids who are really not looking forward to school at all, and see if we can get them interested. Well, I call QI teaching, teaching upside down. Like many things uh, in life, the solution is look at things the other way up. The way we teach children and always have done is you learn the basics first. You learn the most difficult things, the times tables and the alphabet, which is a set of meaningless hieroglyphs. And then as you go through education, you learn the really interesting stuff at sort of professor level. And the idea of QI is you tell them the most interesting stuff first, and they learn the basics afterwards. If you start every lesson with something astonishing and strange and memorable, you get people's attention and they want to know why that is the case. Because we're really interested in QI and the, the fit between what QI does for fun and what actually is uh, educationally useful, we thought we'd have a go at pitching at schools. If you send us three interesting facts about your area, we, we will then um, give you a QI lesson. So that's a kind of competition. So three facts about your area. You can get a, a download a package online at qi.com and the winners will get a free QI lesson from me or some of the QI elves. That's the, that's the idea. But it's really about a way of thinking, you know, because even if you don't win, that thing of looking at information in an interesting way is good for everybody. Um, and that's what we hope to do is sort of create a kind of, a kind of nexus of people who are all doing it. <laughs>